Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 3. We are now officially in a state of civil war. Well, not the actual event chain now, but as far as I'm concerned, it is civil war. The people and the nobility have turned against their loved, beloved emperor. In a time of crisis, because I'm now 10 over the infamy limit. For reasons I still call legitimate. Completely good reasons to be over the infamy limit. Mostly faulty game mechanics. This gut gave me, like, a kick to the groin. So, I have to continue the conversion, and I have to fight off a ridiculous number of rebels now. And even then, I, it'll still be even far longer before I can even consider attacking the Caliphate again. Or, you know, doing anything to stop them from growing. As much as I want to do st something about that, that's just not something that I think I can do right now. Something else is officially I am going to be, you know, increasing the fort level. As I'm sure a lot of people have complained about and or commented on, I haven't really been building any forts. So, from here on out, any and all uh, magistrates are hereby devoted towards forts. Luckily, it's only nobles and peasants that tend to revolt in this scenario. Speaking of which, I called you to arms, right? Good, I did. So Persia should just stomp over Armenia, who's the war leader. Like, these are just the people who defended Mali. Obviously, you know, that didn't go so well for them, because... Eh, I mean, I still walked right through Mali. Yeah. Taxes could be a problem. Luckily, I'm swimming in a fair bit of cash right now. No fort levels there, but there's a fort level there, that's fine. I'm just gonna, you know, demand a concession to defeat. No, well, either way, they're g gone. They really are. You head down there. You head down there. There will be revolts globally at this point. Although the revolt risk map mode isn't that terrible. Just a couple of places with rebel sentiment, recently conquered down here. Everywhere else is fine, but the problem isn't normal revolts. Uh, the revolts I get from being over the infamy limit this far are event driven. Speaking of which, I've completely forgotten to build an embassy, haven't I? No, I did. Okay, a few. Kept worrying about that. I need the embassy. I need to reduce infamy as soon and as quickly as possible. So I've stated all further. Um, guys are to be devoted to building more things here. Persia! Oh, you goddamned. Uh, I shake my fist in your general direction. And. Possibly in the future demand your annexation for that. Most certainly demand their annexation. Well, the statesman is not a problem, it's the diplomat. If he resigns, I am in actual trouble. I mean, the statesman was nice and all, but you know what? It's not a problem. In and the reality of it is it's not a, as big of a problem as you'd think. Oh, hey, Scotland took that over. Interesting. Alright. Another magistrate. Fort level. Yeah, it doesn't actually show me. Alright, well, keep building the forts. You gotta slow and stop the revolts as much as possible. Thirty-four noble in Hama. 
Okay, good. 34 would be a serious issue. Like I said, this is the problem, is they base everything on my size, and... To say the least, uh, the revolts I face here will likely be incredibly scary. And they should be. They implemented these events specifically to kick players in the balls for going too far over the infamy limit. Oh, Savoy. They've been all over this area. Why don't you guys die? I mean, really. Thirty-eight point seven. Is that embassy almost complete? Yes. Let it fall. Med de Gera. Excellent. I don't care. It's a battle I won. Stuff I've got to keep up. Got to get forts everywhere. The Caliphate took that. That's what I was worried about. But I didn't really have the resources to colonize that at the time. I kind of fell a little behind on my colonization due to internal Africa, requiring so many colonists. Terrible mistake. You just keep slaughtering them. Slaughter them by the bucket load. Oh wow, my ruler's actually pretty decent general. He has a aged heir. One with a much higher diplomatic skill. So if he happens to mysteriously die in combat, it is actually an advantage. I figured that they would see it my way eventually. I see. Get to work on that, Persia. Fix him up. Excellent. I'm gonna have to deal with the pirates eventually, I'm sure, but... I assume my war scores are war exhaustion. Yeah, it's going up. Attrition for me is terrible. In many areas. Where the heck did my troops go? I had like 11,000 troops here, didn't I? Oh no, I sent them elsewhere. You're supposed to go take care of that. Oh well. Then five more. It's not like that's a big issue for me. Yeah, sure. Sue for peace? Uh, you wanna give in? No? Alright. Yeah, that area is going to be lost to the nobles, I think. How much I can really do to stop it at this point. I just don't have enough troops in that area. Alright, so the embassy's helping. Good. Like I said, I really need my ruler to mysteriously die, though. It would be, it would be a blessing. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. I'm wondering how long that would take. Start revoking some cores. How much is it going to take to map? I don't really care about that. Yeah, revoke all the cores. There. Should make them far less likely to pop up again in the future. You backstabbing little. Hmm. Grr. Yeah, 
that's what I was afraid of. Stealing all my stuff there. Ugh. I'm no never gonna get that island back, probably. I think I'll likely just give in to the peasants eventually, I'm sure. You know, once the infamy is a little more under control. Alright. Come on, convert. We wait on Africa to convert. It shouldn't be long now, hopefully. I wish I sent them down. And then start converting this area. They've had a lot more success here lately. In their conversions, it seems. Hmm. If I had the infamy to do anything about it, maybe. Well, at least they got Adrianapolis. So, Prusa and Constantinople, the only two places they need. That's good. You've got a fort. Put a fort in you. Put a fort in you. Gonna need all the forts. Can't get them on the inside area. Yeah. You know what? Let's be smart about this. I mean, I have a navy for a bloody reason. A lot faster is to drop them off on the coast over there, I'm sure. Religious zealots in Guria. Okay. Wait, you mean those guys aren't dead yet? Freaking hell. Right, they're noble rebels. They're actually professionally trained soldiers and are half decent. Katsina. Excellent, that's yet another province taken down. Lost the effects of trading in sugar, likely because of my silly, dumb vassal who made his own center of trade. Yeah. What next? England's gonna do that too? I don't know, it doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Yeah, it's all going to Alexandria. Yeah, they can take anything down below there, I don't care. <laughs> They'll probably move in eventually, but... For now, I'm more worried about this whole issue of infamy. And we can open the limit. Causing me a lot of problems. And another embargo from them. Random, as always. Really, I mean, we hate each other so much, so there's no such thing as just randomly embargoing one another. Send another set of flock of merchants over. Just because I can. Land technology 22. Latin Karosh Cavalry. Excellent. Er, Caracol. For some reason I thought I saw an H. This government technology is still 25 years ahead of its time. Five years ahead. Alright, so until 65. Um. I want to evenly split it up amongst those three and catch up. Boom. Alright. So hopefully these will catch up real quick. They got about five years. To the administration, because I'm going to need forts, and a lot of them. Speaking of which, drop a couple more. Like I said, gotta keep dropping more forts. It slows down the revolts. And I can spare them for there now. Okay, go there first. Oh boy. Yeah, you guys should be on, like, the coast. Okay. And they're still not dead yet. 
Running out of men overall. Hopefully should give in. Yep. Yeah. Now they are 2,000 cannons. And 47 infantry. Or... Yeah, there you go. Done. <clears throat> Taken care of. Cracked open a few free slots in Alexandria, maybe? Yep. Always good to see. Mmm. I don't like you, Savoy. You caused me this, so you get an embargo. No more are you trading here. Colonial Company. Time for us to step in. All about that. How about the old colonies? Uh, where's that of a revolt occur? Okay, they'll have to pick that up. Damn, that's a big noble revolt. Especially for the area. Okay, that was cleared out proper. 37, we're dropping in a fair bit. I don't think we're getting the events anymore. Well, that was over quick. Hmm. Something else I want to do is build a pile of, um... Uh, uh, universities, but I neither had of the funds nor the magistrates now to take care of that. Legitimacy question. Yes, well. Question my legitimacy all you want. I'm still the rightful emperor. The, the events should be, uh, like, occurring less and less frequently as I take out. As I, like, uh, stop the, uh, or stop conquering things. Yes, yeah, so our army's Elan strikes fear into the enemy. Excellent. Yes. Excellent, okay. Hmm. So we're getting somewhere here. Alright. Take out the, the rebel down here. Good. Rebels revolted somewhere. No idea where. Twelve, alright, I can handle that. Um, uh, missionary mammoth. Everywhere is covered? Yep. Except Spolito, apparently. There we are, now everywhere is covered. Well, I swear these events, like, come in some kind of magical burst or something. Oh jeez, that's gonna be impossible for that army to take out. Uh, send them down. Yeah, I'll take those out while it's down there as well. Really? This is getting absurd. Oh, because my inf max infamy dropped when my legitimacy dropped. Son of a... Okay. Now, no need to panic. Just do what I know how to do. Need to re-raise the legitimacy. Darn, I thought I had this under control, too. It was looking good for a minute. No, we need to go deal with that. You 
got two revolts to deal with here. Take care of them. You get onto the coast. Follow them. Uh, like I said, the death of my monarch would be a blessing. As all hell is now breaking loose yet again, because legit legitimacy and stuff. And low, low, uh, what do you call it? Rio de Oro, Rio de Oro. Where was that? I don't know, Rio de Oro is over here, right? No idea where, but, oh, there it is. Anti at last, great. So shit went to hell yet again. It's gonna be a while before I can get it all back together, I guess. So long as these events are occurring, I'm in trouble. Like there is in fact a decent chance I could do something here. Because these revolts can be fairly large in size. Luckily, noble, noble rebels don't ever uh, actually seed or anything. No revolts over in the New World. Good. Nothing down there. Forts. Alright, so that area is being covered now. Still a colony. Still a colony. Alright, I think, yeah, that's all still colony. Still colonies. So the Green Coast and the Ivory Coast. Alright, I think that covers it, actually. Except for over here. <laughs> Not too worried about the New World, though. Focus my magistrates on improving Africa. On your way over, pick them off. Excellent. Jeez. Alright, that takes care of that army. Looks like I think I'm finally below the uh, limit again for the events to occur. My legitimacy is going up again as well. That kind of helps. Battle Anubia. All right. You know what? Pick them off. We can do this. Missionary map mode. Everything's still okay. Hopefully, more in this area can roots. We'll need all of it. Well. That's great, we have to chase those noble ripples around a while. They never give an easy. Alright, good. And we can try that again. Alright, so those peasants are down. We can do this. We can do this. Ooh, that's right. That can happen. That actually fixed that problem. That I was having. So, let's go and, you know, battle the natives. Secure Madagascar is my own. Alright, that takes care of them. Um, oh dear. More worried about those. Okay. You take care of that. OK, 
Okay, you've got that. Excellent. I think we've got it again. I think everything's going to be alright. Staying too far above the infamy limit for too long, really. Yeah, again, that event doesn't do anything to me because I don't have merchants anywhere outside of my own area. <coughs> Government Tech 25, that's how far I have to get. Especially so I can also adopt improved imperial administration. Passing the Dissolution Act was a great step ahead by establishing a senate. We've also proven an imperial head is a boon. Let us combine the old Roman ways with the new modern. Let us crown our emperor Imperator. That's essentially the thing for the new government I made up for myself. I don't know, I wanted something a little more Roman. It's actually a pretty shitty government. <laughs> I'm just like, eh, I don't know if I'd ever really want to switch to this in a real game. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Oh god, what the, why did I make it so bad? Oh boy. Oh well, I'll pay for it eventually, I'm sure. I don't know, I think I did it to like make it a bit more of a challenge or something. No, you, you should sit, sit down here with... Hopefully the rebels aren't as big as normal. Alright, so... Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we can reclaim the remainder of the nation, I think. I just okay, yeah. Worried about that for a moment. Maybe I shouldn't have been sitting there that long. All right, so that takes care of that. Now we own there. I guess they can have board bond, sure. Though, uh, Madagascar is indeed mine. I will probably demand their annexation eventually. 14 for me. Jeez. Uh, mercantile policies strengthen trade. Indeed. All right, so. How are we doing? Okay. Oof, getting back under the infamy limit's a bit tough. Like I said, I'm not really worried about punitive wars. Those pose no threat, and the AI is not stupid enough to declare them. Because these rebels aren't going to defect or anything, I have no reason to bother with them. If I'm at war, I can just smash whoever attacked me. Port there. Alright. This is about what's going on a little while now. Oh, there we go. Just as of course I say that. Alright, so... Looks like we're getting things back under control slowly. Just barely, though. Yeah, let's just take, you know, you know what, no. You guys go back down there. You guys take care of that. Good. Keep pressing them back. Alright, we'll play their game. Yeah, I also have to put up with nationalism in the provinces I re-seized. Like I said, the game mechanics kicked me in the balls. And I really am mad at that. And if that's not fixed in the U4, I will be pissed. That is not how it should work. I should gain free right to take any of the colonies I originally founded back. Alright, so we've got most of the forts. I've got a couple extra magistrates. I don't know. Trade Depot. That sounds good in Alexandria. Lorraine's managed to hold on to that imperial title a fair bit. 
Genoa and Savoy are both electors, huh? Vassalize them both. Poland. Damn, that'd be hard to vassalize. Think about dismantling the HRE. Um, okay. So, several of them are in fact electors and don't exist. Kinda silly, but okay. Eh. I've still got a national bank and stuff, I can handle that. Ooh, attacks are all kind of scary. I'm more worried about, you know, actual issues. Money's holding fine, yeah, figured. Alright, so I'm far enough down in the infant limit, I'm not afraid of the events anymore. I will indeed give in to the peasants. It's my prestige, but I don't care. Why? It's actually a benefit. I gain, um... What, hey, here we go. Another free subjects, which, you know, one revolt risk, but whatever. It'll do. So, I think, yeah, these techs are catching up pretty well. Couple levels on them. Give them a bit of a boost. 31,000, 96,000. Yeah, it's really just easier to research this for a bit. And keep chasing down the stupid nobles. Their, their fight is over. I have regained control. I have indeed regained control. There's minor issues lying around the empire that I have to address, such as them. They will go address them. I'm using a lot of merchants. Okay, got another conversion is always good. Four provinces in all of Africa, and then an entire continent has turned to Christianity. <laughs> And, hey, it's not Europe. I think in most games, Europe ends up completely Christian. Okay, take a cut through there. So now that my uh, guys aren't really quite going to resign on me... Yeah, yeah I'll take that. And that. I don't know, I should keep improving Alexandria. Get, like, a road network going or something. I don't know. Yeah. Local trade income modifier, 10%. That's huge for a center trade this big. Yeah, the merchants resent me. That's great. But my infamy is coming down. It looks like I will survive this, no problem. Yeah. So send another five. I have merchants to spare. Alright, so that takes care of that revolt. Yeah, that, the revolts are... The error of revolts really are over at this point, I think. Like, there's nationalism that's kind of making my life a bit miserable in some areas, but that'll end eventually. And a bit of rebel sentiment here and there. Minimum revolt risk, minus 2.5. Good old garrisons. They fix all my problems. But yeah. Oof. So. 
Holy War against Khmer, that's great. Need Government Tech 25 for that. I need him. So, yeah, he, he should hopefully live. Good. <laughs> I need that. Alright. I think something in Alexander got finished. Okay, then, yeah, canal. Make trading here even more friendly. I wish growth spilled over into neighboring provinces. Because, I mean, it's already at the max population. Promote cultural unity. Yeah, sure. I, I know Greece has a pile of cores all around here. It's complicated. Apache and nationalists. Yeah, there's nothing they can do to stop that, really. Yeah, there isn't any nationalists for there. Too bad. <clears throat> uh, Alright. Yeah, I could probably seize this, but again, the infamy. My infamy keeps dropping. Max infamy just keeps dropping. God damn it, why? Hmm. Where is it getting higher and I'm just not really paying attention? I think it might just be getting higher and I'm not paying attention properly. Ooh, we gain cleansing of heresy against Dacia. Hmm. Hmm. It's tough. Eh, I don't mind. If he's got a point, he's got a point. Uh, yeah, so, and now it goes back into land. That is enough investing in everything else. Because that's now, uh, yeah, I've got another 20 years before that. University. Sense of normality, I gain 150. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Looks like I may have to take out a loan. And I can't cancel that. Crap. Oh, I know how I can totally reduce my maintenance. Hopefully I don't have to do too many battles for a little while. It's okay, where else what? I thought I said no. Um other things. Who needs colonial maintenance? And who needs missionary maintenance? Where the flip in hell am I losing uh thirty three a month? Uh, just my remaining military maintenance. I'm losing 97 a month on something. Apparently. Uh, no, that'll update next month, I think. To which point, yeah, that's fine. Missionaries aren't that expensive, though. I will keep them for the conversion. Must convert everything. It can be done. But yeah, I think Catholicism's fallen at this point. It, it's gone. It's running out of provinces, really. All it's got is Transylvania and Trebizond left. Hmm. Huh.
This province actually is pretty crummy to me because uh, distance overseas. Yeah. <laughs> Which sucks. So I need to do something about that, I think. Not much I can do, though. Shipyard. Hmm. Uh, workshop, counting house. I don't know, spy agency. Oh yeah, there is a specific decision that requires a courthouse in Alexandria, isn't there? Judiciary Act, correct. Which, you know, actually that's pretty good. For another National Revolt Risk Reduction, I'll take it. Stack a pile of those on. But yeah, it looks like I'm back under control. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. That's an actual revolt. Of course, I've got nothing near it because I've got all my guys in weird places to deal with event revolts. As my legitimacy returns and my infamy drops, who knows, maybe next episode I'll be able to attack somebody or something, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the majority of my agenda involves taking Siena, Pisa, Modena, Parma, Genoa, Nice, and Venetian. In order to take all that, I have to take Corsica, Gueno, Piedmont, Savoy, and probably a pile of friggin' colonies, too. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go Quiena and Gebadon or something. Be a little easier that way. You know, just to form a land link there. I think I might just take the entire northern part of Italy. It's not like it's a big area. It's... I have constant police on pretty much everyone except Urbino. Zamfara. Excellent. So, three provinces in all of Africa still fight against my conversion. And there goes another. Or, no, that was up here. So, converted two of those. Excellent. And still three provinces here. That's it. Then all of Africa is Christian. Die! Actually, don't die quite yet. Now you can die. I will likely get over extensionism when he dies. But, he was hoping I've obtained enough cores to take a look at my diplomacy map mode. Yeah, it's iffy. It's pretty iffy. I need core. Yeah, I doubt it. There's just so many provinces in Mali. And what's my inflation? 2.2. Yeah, just spare no expense then. I mean, that's almost like a third of the level. Whatever. 2.7 inflation is nothing. Soon I'll have like five in free subjects, five in centralization. Then I'll move to mercantilism, land, and offensive, and quality. Min-max the crap out of this stuff. Soon that will be possible without any policy restrictions once I get that up. Excellent. Question is now, do I get over extensionism? It would appear not. I... I'm not overextended. Wow. Best news I've had all day. Eh. <laughs> Invincible. I like the sound of that. It's true. I mean, my superbly drilled armies are pretty freaking invincible. Minor. 
And yeah, I'm below the infamy limit by a significant margin now. So I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Things are under control again, and the Empire is stable. I, w I had a bit of a worry for a bit there that, I, you know, uh, things might actually go wrong. I might actually be in a bit of trouble. Good news is, nope. Was not in trouble at all. I think I'm going to end up going with the post office, maybe? I don't know. No, that one's terrible. Local tax modifier, yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Hmm, man. But, yeah, workshop here. I'm gaining, like, a thousand annually. That's pretty good. Since my, uh... My funding is pretty much gone right now. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, I don't need it. Like, even without that, it's 4.6. It goes from 4.6 to 6.6. It's crazy. My army's morale is insane. Um, but yeah. I think this is going to be the end of the episode here. So, until next time, this is Kelvin signing off. Yeah.